Hello and welcome to The Grove. My name is Samer Rev, and today I introduce a new series on the channel. In this series, I translate submissions into Raleigh, the fictional language I'm developing. I've wanted to add this series to the channel for a while, and it will be acting as a backup in case I am unable to devote the time needed for whatever art video is scheduled for the week. So expect these world-building videos occasionally. I will also be doing another video soon talking about how my language is set up for any of those who are interested. But for now, on to the language translations. This series will be set up how I say what got submitted, then what the translation is into my language, and then how it expanded language if it did at all. So the first submission was by my friend Tax, and he submitted, Hey, how's it going with that little business of yours? I translated, Hey, chikik, chikik, te bates, let leap, dep na lictim, difti deli. Obviously, I am not completely fluent in my language yet, but I am slowly getting there. So how it expanded the language is that I had to come up with the words for continue and to stop because those were two words that I was thinking about when doing the word going because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use going or progressing sort of those words. So I just decided to see how I could create these words. I ended up just using the word going instead but it was a good spot for me to work on developing the language a bit more. I also fixed the numbers because I realized while looking at that and thinking of the word of, I had to fi figure out where the fractions were. So I was looking them up, finding in their spot, and I realized that the numbers were using a root that had already been selected for something else. So I just had to switch the root. So I fixed them. And fortunately, it was like an easy fix. All I had to do was switch it to a root that hadn't been used already. So was it just a quick fix, but I did it. And then for business, I'm using Minecraft as a basis for what I'm as a reference when I'm developing this language. And in Minecraft, you can trade with piglins, you can trade with villagers. So I thought, okay, maybe that's sort of the idea of a business is someone's trade work. So that's how I got, that's how I got this word <laughs> by using the words trade and work roots. And then I was looking up at of, and I decided to use the quality of a part. So like you are a part of something for the word of. So that's how I got that word. And then question words I wanted a root for. So I could have where it's off of the word when is time and then this word, or it's to question something. So it's to signal that you're asking a question. And I got two different words for how. I got one off the word of state. So like, what is currently happening, and then the question of something, how do you do something? And so I have two words for that, chikig and thikig. So chikig is the one that I ended up going with, but thikig was the original one that I was going to go with. And then while reviewing and recording the initial episode, like the one of the initial recordings for this episode, I decided, hey, probably should switch this because it would make more sense. So this language has two different words for how. And I need to make sure that I have this in the actual dictionary that I'm slowly developing. So I need to add that. But for right now, it is obviously in the language. So that's cool. And then an alternative to hey, because the huh sound is a consonant reserved for names because it is soft, a softer consonant. So I didn't want it to be on the ending of words because it would just sort of be silent. And I want every sort of consonant to be expressed in some way. So huh, was taken out and then so I just was reserved for for A, which is good because that is sort of the calling of someone specific. So it would be a good alternative. So that's how I went in. That's why I went with it in the end. And then the rule is that I had to edit where the time roots were. So you'll notice that Theba and the pop. So ba and pop are words related for the roots that are related to time and they are at the end. That's because if they were at the beginning, then it would act like ing in English, where it'd sort of be the signifying an action. So the specifier will be at the end if it's specifying, hey, this is a word about time, but it's not specifically about talking about a verb. And then ing would stay at the beginning. This is just because it sounded better when I was practicing different sentences to figure out where if it was going to be at the end or the front, and I decided that the front would be better because of how the vowels, how the consonants sound. So that's where that came from. 
So that's the first submission. And then the next few submissions are from Creepy Artist. The first one is We Are Out of Milk, Nai Pachi Lim Veimshu. The Dog is Cute is the second one, which is Deich Feig Pachi Timatil. And then submission three is I Like Animals, other known as Navy Live. Navy Live is the shortest one that I have so far. It's just two words, but and very satisfying because it's easy to pronounce, but still, it exists. <laughs> and then this, the expansion notes off of it is that I had to figure out different words for certain animals. And so, such as cow, because I wanted to expand, use the word milk as the, the liquid that comes from a cow because it's most often coming from cows in Minecraft because that's the only way you can obtain it. So it sort of made sense for that, how it's, what it's talking about. And then for dog, I also had to figure out a word for it because I didn't yet. So I got a bunch of creatures relating to cows and dogs in this section. And then, like I said, milk comes from a cow. And then I had to come up with a word named cute. I decided to go with young attractiveness. So tima means young and then teal means attractiveness. So, and then animals, I had to come up with a general word for animals because of how the people creature words are set up. There are different sections. And so I actually had to make a word off of the word spirit or the root spirit. So physical animals is specifically the word live. And then the rule without, because it has to do without something if they exhausted the resource, because the original phrase is talking about we are, we have run out of something or is that sort of what we are out of milk. So I felt like it, my language, it would be better to have, it's like, we are without something. So like we are without milk, we are going without resources. It just made sense in my head. And I felt like it would be adding something to the language that's not directly related to English itself. So that's why I decided to go with without anyway. And then the final submission is from my friend Toby. And he said, my cat is sleeping on top of my notebooks. And I translated to Neli Fape Baziz Lebles Difti Zek Vizkin. So this was a long process, mainly because of that last word. It's not only the longest word in the sentence, but it also was the most complicated to make. And I'll explain why. But first, the words that I had to add were about plants, and which I'll go into more depth afterwards, and then clarifying what's on top of something versus like something that is on something else. So, or like over something else, like you can have, oh, this painting was over the other painting, but it, maybe it's not like resting on top of something. A better example would be a plane flies over the city, but it's not on top of a building. So it's sort of making that distinction clear. So I have two different words now for that. And then off of the word communicate, I had to come up with, okay, writing because I needed to translate the word notebook. So I had to first think of, okay, how do I explain that this is a writing book? And how do I separate that from book itself? So I came up with the word mark. And it's, so I got the word write from that. And I got the idea that it's like, oh, it's marking the trail. That's sort of where writing might have started, that you might be signaling, hey, this is a specific area. So you might be marking the trails so you know how to get from the mine to the house to the different parts of the village. So maybe that's something. And then I also got the word draw and image. And then the words for a notebook, other than the marking area, is I had to do plants, like I mentioned, but it was specifically like, okay, I needed to find a word for sugarcane, which I ended up just doing read. And I needed the word for sugarcane because in Minecraft, you get paper from three sugarcane in the crafting temp table. And then you have to use that, those papers to make a book and then book for book and quill. So I needed to sort of find something that I could use for sugarcane or just some regular word. So I ended up just doing read in general. Maybe I'll expand it to where it's a sugar read for the actual plant, but for something that's just something that is read like. And then I also added like flowers and trees and so, and veggies. And so it was actually really good that I was forced to actually do this because then I actually ended up getting some roots that I would later, that I can later use for different 
veggies. So it was a benefit to go through this. And then, like Iggs mentioned, it's a reference to Minecraft. And so the book itself, I needed to create paper. So I figured out, okay, so I can use read an ingredient because it's an ingredient from a read. Because in Minecraft, there are many recipes that you can use off of paper. You can use it to make a book. You can use it to make a banner. You can, a banner pattern. You can use it to create different things that, oh, a map. I'm pretty sure there are other things that I'm forgetting that you can also make it to it. Because I was looking up what recipes you could do. And so I'm like, ah, yes, this makes sense for an ingredient specifically. And then I also did a book is a read off of tool because you can have enchanted books. You can have it where it's for a book and krill, but technically it's just a book. And so thinking about that, it was like more like a tool. So that that's how you get Zek Beast. And then so a uh, notebook would just be a book of markings sort of. And so you have Zek Beast Keen. So long word. And it made me expand the language quite a lot for just one word, but it was very beneficial for me to get through this process. So that's all the phrases I was able to put in this week's video, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I wasn't too scatterbrained during the explanation of everything. If you did, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe. And if you want, you can actually submit a phrase or sentence down below in the comments for me to translate. Just keep it under 144 words so that it's not too long and don't have any squares or anything that would break the community guidelines. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I translate it. So just say, hey, here's a phrase I'd like you to translate in Relikiv, and then I'll be paying attention to the comments and I'll add it to my little list. And I will be going off of usernames for usernames, or you can specify and say it's from blank when you put your comment. But for right now, I hope to see you next time. So goodbye.